from our Huntington Bank highlights of the game, Rick. And as we uh, take a look back at it in the first period, first shift of the game, we saw a big three on one for Wheeling, but then Toledo took over after that point. They had the first seven shots of the game. Yeah, first, and, 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 and like I said to you before, uh, you know, based on the first period, I thought there was no way. I, I thought uh, so we were going to run away with it. Well, Wheeling, uh, credit to them. When we get to the second period, we'll show you that. As uh, late in the first period, they started to get some chances. You could see that. And then, uh, of course, Toledo just kept that up all first period long. Remember, they had 17 first period shots. Right. And, uh, you know, shots and, uh, uh, you know, just one goal. You know, 17 shots, one goal. And, you know, 50 shots, one goal. Early part of the second period was a little bit different, Rick. Toledo only had one shot in the first 11 minutes of the second period as Wheeling kind of had control of the play. But then that last that last stretch of the second period, it started to flip again, and it went back in favor of the Toledo Walleye. Yeah, it, it flipped. But the one thing that, that I think that first part of the second period where they give, gave Wheeling the opportunity is it started to give them maybe a little bit of confidence that, you know what, I, we are in this game. We're only... We got out shot in the first period. We're only down one. You know what? We're, we're uh, we took the play in the, sec the the beginning of the second period. So we are in this game. You know, maybe gave him a little bit of confidence and gave Larmy some confidence too. Yeah, certainly did. We go into the third period, and in the third, a tough call going against Toledo, and it led to a power play chance, one that I think was very difficult because Steve Alexi did hit the puck first before he tripped him in. Yeah. It, it, Which is the rule. It is the rule. It hit, you know, yeah, he left his feet. He didn't trip him with his body. He got the puck with his uh, with first with his stick, and, and the wheeling player tripped over his stick after the puck was out of, out of, the, out of the play. So... I, I'm not uh, <laughs> official yeah, referee, it, but it is a tough call. It ended up leading to back-to-back -back power plays. Wheeling scored to tie it. Uh, then they would go ahead, and, and Toledo, to their credit, they kept at, coming after it against uh, Emil Army. He was just too good. Yeah, you know, you face a goalie, uh, you know, as well as he played today, and there's just you, you just got to create a little, maybe, you know, find uh, you know some good opportunities, but you just got to find a way, you know, maybe a little bit more traffic in that, you know, maybe. You know, just just shoot the puck on net, get some rebounds, or get him out of position somehow. You know, create havoc in front of his net. I think you used to say, create havoc. 